Alright everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. This is part two of my Grand Arena against Caribo here. If you guys missed part one, I will link it in the video description down below. Um, he's got a very good account, um, about a million more galactic power than us. He does have an additional GL, um, which is, it's funny, so he's got more relic levels on his Galactic Legends. He does have Galactic Legends Ray, which I do not. However, he does not have Darth Malgus, so that was, um, I'm not going to say that it's a one-for-one, one, right? Ray's definitely a tougher character than Darth Malgus, but it at least gives me a little bit more hope that, you know, I had some teams maybe that he didn't have, and Malgus being as good as he is, right, that's a, it's a nice step in the right direction for us. Um, so, so far we haven't, uh, dropped any battles, so we're going to go into part two over here. And he's got some pretty decent teams, but I think we're going to be all right. So this battle here, I just, I have a feeling this is going to work. Um, if this doesn't, then I am more than willing to face consequences for this. But um, this battle should be just, you know, we should be able to just walk through this, um, if I'm being completely honest. I could have maybe brought First Order Officer in here, and maybe I'll regret that. Well, no, we'll see right here. Um, but I've never actually gotten to use a GL against uh, a Radis team. Ooh, not good. Oh, I forgot they can steal my turn meter. All right, finally get a swipe. And this is like, this healing immunity is rough. All right, maybe another swipe here and then, all right, Radis is down. All right, wow, that was a little bit, not gonna lie guys, that was a little bit dicier than I thought it would be. Whew. Um, yeah, I was getting really scared there, but we got through. That, that's that's all that matters, right? You know, we can look on, we can laugh, we can move on. So we saved the great fight. Obviously, had to save the best fight for this video. King Wampa against General Grievous. Guys, I some people will always say, oh, you should use something else, like use Wampa on, you know. Uh, guys, I'm, I said this in part one. I'm going to say it in part two. So, uh, one of my subscribers, guys, he's a really great guy, is, uh, we'll just call him Welshie. So, Welshie gave me a piece of advice um, that you save your, you know, your big characters for your big fights, right? And that goes two parts, right? What he means by that is saying that you don't want to try something pretty on a, you know, Galactic Legends Ray if you know that your Sith Eternal will work, right? Also... In a fight like this, General Grievous, I'm sure I could find a squad to beat this, but nothing I have is going to beat it with as good of banners as Wampa does. And so you could say, oh, this is a waste, like this is a win for him, but this is a win for me. Like I'm getting, you know, almost max banners on a General Grievous team, right? Which is really tough to do. Like nothing else in my roster is going to get max banners on this team, right? That's just, I don't have Bad Batch, right? So that's the other like alternative here. So by using Wampa on this team, I'm really, in a way, being more efficient. I'm playing smarter. And, you know, I think that's the way you have to play. If you want to win in GAC sometimes, it's not about playing, you know, for, like, I don't know if fun is the right word. Because I have a lot of fun playing GAC. But, like, it's not playing to be flashy. It's playing to be smart. So, you know, Wampa and General Grievous are king, just dominating. So we have this team. This is a very this is a very good team. You cannot sleep on this, but we're gonna come up here for this bounty hunter team. Um, we've got Jedi for this, and yeah, I mean this is gonna be. We've got a lot of Jedi for this. Maybe we'll bring. I don't know that I need to bring Mace Windu, but we will because that we do have enough. We'll just do. Ah, I didn't. Ah, I didn't put Jedi Master Luke's Datacron on. Could have gotten more damage. Oh well. 
we'll be okay. So my goal here will actually be to save Bosk for last if I can. Um, that's literally going to be the goal, is save Bosk for last. Can I land the ability block? Okay, on him I did. So let's attack Zam first. Ooh, bringing Mace was a very bad idea for this, actually. Definitely should have brought somebody else, because Mace will taunt. So I did that on Yoda just to give me turn meter. Um, I really don't, like, need the turn meter, or I don't need, like, damage on him, because we're just going to try and... Alright, we'll stun... Oh, he dodged it. Of course he did. Okay, there it goes. Alright, just basic. Alright, that's max banners. Cool. So, I don't know. Maybe we didn't need mace. Probably didn't, but, you know... For one banner, you know, we've played pretty well. I feel like I can, you know, use a banner there. All right, this team. We've got General Skywalker. We've got a Rebel team. Um, this is actually, like, not a terrible team to place down, if I say so myself. Like, I actually kind of like this. This is a very, like, just... It's going to steal, like, it should just steal banners, right? That's my gut assumption. That team's just going to steal banners. What's the Datacron up here do? Now oh, protection. Okay. So where do I want to use gas, and where do I want to use my rebels? I think we'll use gas on this resistance team. Because we'll get, I think we'll be able to avoid the AOEs. And let's do uh, this Datacron, because I'm going to save the other one for the other team. Alright, I think this video will be shorter than part one which is going to be like kind of hilarious but you know it is what it is all right there's this um i forget which one of these guys has the aoe ability so we'll just make sure that we hit them both okay this should kill finn oh almost that's fine all right yeah so we're gonna walk out of here minus one banner not horrible you know, uh, if you missed part one, I did a couple of solos that will, you know, that I think will save us some. We did a Malik solo. We did a Savage Press solo. Um, obviously, we did the Spring Leader Kylo Ren solo, which was nice as well. So, you know, I feel okay going into this. I still have a lot of, like, normally, and this is, you know, maybe it's, I didn't scout enough, but at the same time, like, Normally, I use a lot more of my offense than this, right? Um, I do tend, you know, I'm not going to pretend one way or the other. I definitely tend to set a much tougher, or I, might, I definitely tend to bring more on offense than I need. But a lot of that is just because I'm normally planning on, you know, having to two-shot a team somewhere just because of banners. Um, let's just get... I know we're going to tick off the B2, but I, I want to kill Droidica before he has a chance to, like, pwn us. That's fine. Save that. We're not going to attack Dooku. Okay. Can we stun him? There was the stun. That almost, that's full banners. All right, we'll take that. There's full banners. All right, so now we're through two ships. 1637. I haven't seen a score like that in a long time from me. All right. I'm on blue stacks. Negotiator. Executor. And this fleet. Interesting starting lineup here. Not going to lie. Interesting starting lineup. Alright, so 
What did I bring? I need to remember what I brought. We have our Empire Fleet. We've got First Order. Okay, yeah. So against this, we're going to bring our Empire Fleet. Okay, I want you, you, and you. And then, actually, my, there's that. You, you, and you. And where's my Sith fleet? I want Sith bomber. And I think that should be enough. Do I want to sw switch out my... I never know if I want to switch out my Emperor's Shuttle. I, I don't think so. I think I want to keep it just in case. All right, let's see what this does. All right, hit Anakin. What does this do? Just do a basic. Okay, bring out our... Dispel all this. Um, save that. I want to save that for if they bring out like Plo Koon or something. Okay, see if we can kill Anakin with that. Oh, so close. All right, there goes Anakin. Heal up, everybody. Target locks. Okay, keep going around here. Vader. Plo Koon is in. Bring in our gauntlet. Let's do this. Let's get a little bit of healing going on here. Can I... Ooh, yeah. Alright, do this. Oof. Not okay. Come on, bomber. Oh, there goes bomber. That's not... That's not ideal. Okay, we're going to get rid of you and heal up our shuttle. And we took out fives with that. We'll take that. Okay. Um, that was a nice dodge somehow. Can we bring out our Sith Bomber, please? Oof. It's going to be rough on banners, tell you guys that. Glad I brought my Sith Bomber. This is what I get for not having, like, Relic Inquisitors. Just drop more bombs. I just want them, need them to die. Oh my gosh, this is just never-ending. Okay, get the healing going. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Why am I not? Because they're not... Oh, how is he still not taunting yet? Come on, stay alive. Okay. Just stay alive, Sith Bomber. That's all I need from you. Oh my gosh. How, how am I not taunting here? It's not even going to kill him. 
Oh, what a mess. Gosh, I made a whole muck of this, didn't I? There it goes. Wow. I really don't know. I wonder if my like starting lineup is just all messed up, but that was terrible. Well, at least we can clean that up. Ah. <sighs> Probably the Grand Arena right there, if I'm honest. Oops. I need to grab my... There we go. All right. This is... Uh... Oh, I hate these fights. So we just need to get Xanadu Blood down right away. That's kind of my it's the strategy I employ. Just get Xanadu blood out as fast as possible. All right. Let's get this going. All right. Big hits. Come on. Of course, Falcon doesn't assist. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Come on. All right. Um, kill him, please. All right. That's not good. This is bad. Okay, that's at least, that's better. That's better. Um, all right. Whew, working from behind here. All right, Falcon, we just need to get that off of you. Oh, and they got their contract already. Okay, dispel that. Okay, there's some... That's okay. Ooh, they, he does not have taunt right now. And there's the uh, Boba ship is going to come in and just destroy us. We need to get some critical hits landing here. Oh, that's contract. That's bad news for us. Oh my gosh. Come on. Kill a ship here. This is really bad. Um, wow. Wow. I'm not going to get a kill, am I? Oof. Um. Come on, get a get something for me going here. Okay. Oof. Wow. All right. Uh, can we carry? I think we can manage this, I think. Ooh, I need to get Boba's ship out of here. That's bad news. Um, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, oh uh, boy. Gosh dang it. Nope, there he goes. Wow. Oh, that is, that's probably the Grand Arena, right? I mean, I can clean this, so I can clean up everything, right? Oh, my gosh. That is so frustrating. All right. I need to play this 
Very, very smart. Wow. I have been terrible on fleets. This is atrocious. Nope, you guys are seeing a real grand arena then. Man. Score just right out the window. So that that, that whole executor battle there just went sideways because of the... If you can kill Xanadu Blood early, that's kind of like your ticket. And it just didn't work out for me. I think if I had a you know, few more relic levels or just a better... Um, what's it called? like, Or just a better overall um, profundity that we would have been okay there, but unfortunately just not good enough. All right, let's land all these garbanzo beans. Okay, and then the falcon's going to come in and ruin my life here in a second. Okay, that ship's down. Oh my gosh, those dodges. Come on, I thought we were like through with the dodge meta. Okay, spy. Okay, I do want to do the big hit on Poe because he's got the bus droids. There we go, he's out. Okay, we survived. Oh my gosh. Dodge is crazy. Whew. All right, get taunt back up. All right, there we go. Much more reinforcements. Yippee. Okay, uh, we'll just do a big hit there, get him out. And does that finish it? Yes. Okay, finally, we one shot a ship with horrible banners. Okay, so now I need to think this through. I've got a finalizer fleet left. And I've got a... They don't have a capital ship here. And I don't have a lot of stuff to cl that I need to actually like clean up. So I wonder if I use I'm still more worried about is it weird that I'm still more worried about this fleet than I am my I don't know. Um, all right. Um, and then we'll bring this guy. So what I'm hoping is that we can just like, like, because Razor Crest is going to be the one that's going to be the brutal one to take out because we didn't kill him and he's going to get like the full ridiculous stacks of stuff. But, oh, oh, there's Razor Crest over there. Um, kill Hound's Tooth. He's the one I really worried about. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. 
right, let's do this. Oh, it's got. All right, we'll go give it counter. What the heck? If it didn't have marked, I would have given it to a. Uh, what's it called? Given it to the. Oh, there we go. That's all right. We'll clean that up. That's fine. So then that saves me a decent. The only thing we'll have to be worried about. The only thing that makes me worried about this fleet is if they have their AOE ready. But that's a risk we're going to have to take. Uh, this is why you play the Grand Arenas, guys. This was uh, this is going to be a dicey one. And it just, you know, came down to ships and he... His fleet's pull. I'm gonna probably pull him out of win here if I'm honest. I don't. I could have maybe come up with like one drop, but two drop battles is a lot of stuff. Um, okay, that's fine. We open up with that. Oh, Plo, man. All right. Can I stun you? No, of course not. Why could I? Why should I be able to stun you? Um. I don't know, hunted? That'll work. Okay, can I get... We're gonna call... Oh, they dodge that. Just get her out. Oh my gosh, they're going to get the AOE here in a second. That's going to be miserable for me. But as long as I can keep everybody alive, I'll feel better. No, don't bring anyone in. The reason I'm not bringing anyone in, one, banners, but two, so when we get dazed here, right, I need to keep my... Like, I want to keep them as, like, healthy as possible. Or I want to keep them undazed. So that way, if I need to call assists or anything like that, I can. Um, but let's get rid of that thing. And then we're just going to hope... We're going to hope Kylo can finish this. Okay. Get rid of Rex. There we go. Now we've got... Yep, yeah, alright, we're good now. Now we can start calling assists. Because he does not have days anymore. Yep, there goes Plo. And... Oh, he does, he does, his crit hit immunity. Oh! Cost me banners. That's all right. 48. All right. So there's the Grand Arena, guys. Um, you know, we could have had a, a lot better score there, just dropped battles and ships. And it, you know, I mean, I maybe made some misplays, but I think overall, like, that executor battle was just really, really bad RNG, if I have to say. Like, no assist from Falcon and stuff like that. Um, and then the negotiator fight, maybe some misplays in there. Maybe I brought the wrong starting lineup. Um, but yeah, guys, overall, you know, we'll see how he does. Um, I'll show my defense here quick. I don't really mind. Uh, this is the last 3v3 fight. Good news is I will be able to stay in Kyber 2, so get a bigger payout. Um, so we've got our Qui-Gon Jinn. We've got, you know, Rogue One like he did, Starkiller. Darth Malgus, General Grievous. Um, and then over here, once we get once we move over there, over here, we've got our um, Jedi Training Ray. We've got um, Maldalorians, random bounty hunter team, another kind of bounty hunter team here, Shock T with Echo and Ark. Um, it's not the greatest defense. You know, he definitely had... You know, with the GLs that he had on defense, the Zamo Macron, definitely a little bit of a tougher defense than me. Um, we got the Dash with a Datacron back here. Just a random mall team trying to ho hopefully steal banners. Um, you know, Rebel Fighters, again, garbage. 
kind of garbage down here. So I think this back wall at least is a little bit tougher than what he set, right? Like I think that, you know, this team here, if you don't take care of Nest properly, right, like she'll live. Um, and then as far as ships goes, I did do one thing. So I did, we set kind of similar ship defenses. So um, I set my executor with this lineup. I don't know if this is going to work any better, right? I have no idea how this will work out. Um, and then this is my negotiator lineup. And then uh, I just have a garbage fleet back here. And again, that garbage fleet today like came in handy because if I set a real fleet back here, I might not have been able to full clear him. Um, I still think this will turn out as a loss. So um, I will let you guys know in another video how we ended up doing here. But I do think this is a loss with those two dropped ship battles here. I mean, that's just, you know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate. This executor won, like... It is, it is really good. I can't even scroll down. It is really good that we got the executor out with profundity, but just couldn't carry it home there, guys. But, um, yeah, like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. Um, hopefully you guys are, you know, saw some stuff here. Maybe you learned some things maybe not to do, like screw up on ships massively like I just did. But, um, yeah, I love all of you. You are legends. You are scholars. Subscribe, 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 and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.